Hola, ¿qué tal, mi gente? Mi amo Byron González. I'm here for 88.5, the SoCal Sound and Latin Alt HD3. And today I have the great privilege of talking to the multifaceted singer, songwriter, musician, a whole lot of things. It's, it, it's a long resume. I'm talking here with Lila Downs. ¿Cómo hey. estás? How are you? I'm good, Byron. ¿Cómo estás tú? Muy bien. Un placer bueno. de tenerte aquí presente. And, and we're going to be talking about your new album and the show at the Soraya. It's Sor the Soraya, October 14th. Don't you forget it. Um, pero primero te quiero preguntar unas preguntas super serias. I want you to take it with everything. What is your favorite food? Ah, <laughs> It depends on the time of year, uh -huh. pero yo creo que tengo que poner a las tlayudas en primer lugar. Las la, ayudas. La What? tlayuda Tari is a very oh. tlayuda is a very special kind of a tortilla that we eat in Oaxaca. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I got to yeah. try one of those. Big one. I, I'm Guatemalan, so I, th these are uh, still new to me. They're different. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but in some variety they're the same because we share the corn, we share the pumpkin. And right, we share yeah, the beans, it's true. and those are the important combinations for our protein intake. Yeah, yeah. it's so delicious. Yeah. I'm sure. I gotta try. I gotta put that on my yeah, list. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is your spirit animal? Do you have a spirit animal? I do. Create? I do actually. My grandmother said that I was an eagle, oh, and cool. I, it's it's a great honor. Later, I discovered what it means to be an eagle because um, there's a lot of responsibility with, with this animal, I believe. Mm. And, um, and then w you have a protector, and then you have, usually there are two different animals that protect you and that, that are this have the same life as you. So when the animal dies, then that will be as well your story. Oh, yeah. That's really cool, yeah. the eagle. I can f no yeah. wonder I feel that energy. <laughs> um, what is a hidden talent that a lot of people don't know about you? Maybe like a talent that's very useless, but you, you uh, find it interesting within yeah. yourself. Um, let's see, what can I d I think that um, I'm good at being um, understanding and listening. Mm. I think I'm a good listener. <laughs> and yeah, it's very and important. That's, yeah, I think it's something that you're not really taught to do very much. Mm. in today's culture. <laughs> I know. <laughs> We're always talking. Or on our phones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're getting that attention. It's, uh, people are so distracted nowadays, so yeah. it's very important. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get it down to business. You just okay. released a new album, La yeah, Sanchez. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure, you know, your long career, you've had album after album, and I'm sure with every album release, you learn something different, uh, either about the process or about yeah. yourself. What do you think this album has come to taught you? Yeah, I think that it's, yeah, for, for some people it might be album after album, but not for me. Hmm. I think each album is about pacing your time in life and recognizing yourself and the changes that you go through in life. And uh, right now I had a tremendous loss. My partner of 28 years mm -hmm. passed away nine, nine months ago. And that made um, that made everything um, magnified in terms of emotion, in terms of the songwriting, and in terms of interpretation. So, uh, a month after he passed, I went into the studio. I did not cancel anything. Mm. I went into the studio and I recorded all those tracks. And so, um, I look back right now and I say, God, how did I do that? How did I do it, you know? It, but I know that his dream was for me to continue and to be a strong musician. He would always say, oh, you gotta be tougher. Because <laughs> um, I think um, musicians and artists in general were very emotional at times, and, and that's one of my, my challenges. And From hearing the album, there, there's a lot of pain in there and a lot of release, I'm sure. Um, yeah. Was it? You know, what you concentrated heavy on the Mexican sound this time, and, and I've heard before that, you, you know, Mexican music is all about that release and about yeah. showing your emotions. Mm -hmm. Was this an easy album, per se, to write, to release? No, it wasn't. It was, I would say, three years ago, I was writing uh, most of the songs. I came up with, like, 16 songs. Mm. We did a workshop with some of the guys who live in Texas, New York, 
um, uh, in Miami and Mexico. And we did the workshop in Oaxaca. Mm -hmm. And we ate and we drank and we recorded our, our tracks, the beginning of the album. So mm -hmm. that was beautiful. It was a beautiful process, but I wasn't happy with about half of the songs. Mm -hmm. So I actually asked um, the person who is connected to me, Maite, at Sony. And I said, you know, I think I really would like to explore some other songwriters. And so she introduced these different songwriters to me, Miguel Luna, um, Marcela de la Garza, Loli Molina. And I was so surprised to hear these gems mm -hmm. of songs and also that have to do with the spirit of what I'm going through right now. Yeah. And then now you're going to explore that a little bit more, especially because you're going to have this Dia de los Muertos show at the yeah. Soraya, October yeah. 14th. Um, can you talk a little bit about that and how, I don't know, just initial emotions that come from doing a show for Day of the Dead? Well, um, I imagine that, that our audience is, is um, kind of, you know, very empathetic right now because they know that I, that I lost my partner. I mean, I was thinking about, you know, after you deal with death as an individual, um, then, then you go over the, the whole process because at one point you don't even, you don't even function in a, in a natural way, you know. Mm -hmm. But now um, I'm so grateful that people have, have been patient and kind and, and loving to me. And, and so to celebrate death in a way that is quite different and difficult for me right now, it's, it's, it's a privilege to, to enjoy in a way and share with our audience these emotions. And uh, we just came back from a little tour in Colorado, New York mm. and, and uh, Santa Fe and it was beautiful to hear people singing the songs already oh. so so that was wonderful well you released a great album Thank and you. i'm sure you know that's the thing with musicians and and, and music and lyrics that you're never alone yeah. you know um because yeah. you you feel this way but there's a hundred other people that feel the same way and they listen to the album and they're just like this person feels the same way I do, yeah. you know? And yeah. I think that's a beautiful thing and you've been able to come across with La Sanchez. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Yeah, thank you for your time again. I thank really you. enjoyed speaking with you and thank we'll you. catch you at the Soraya. Okay, <laughs> we'll see you there. <laughs> Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto, Byron. <laughs>